Hello, my name's Phil. Welcome to my uh, little hydrogen experiment. I've been reading lots of stuff on the internet about um, how wonderful hydrogen is, um, Brown's gas, HHO, which is um, water broken down through electrolysis into um, its component elements, which is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. This you plumb into your inlet manifold of petrol or diesel, or whatever you've got, and supposedly, you can get between 25 and 110 percent increase in your miles per gallon. So, I thought I would do a real-time experiment to see what actually happens, whether it works or not. So, I've got this little car. It's a little 1.7 diesel Corsa, a non-turbo model. It's got 130,000 miles on the clock. It's been for its MOT, so we know it's. Um, reasonably okay on its emissions um, but we'll go for another test um, before and after i.e. while it's running on hydrogen as it's supposed to clean up the exhaust emissions as well and we'll see whether there's um, a possibility of a business business uh, venture there obviously it'll have to work before it's uh, worthy of a business venture but um, if we do get 50% or more increase in the miles per gallon then um, that would bring that would bring it in on a par with um, LPG at 60 odd pence a litre is at the moment. So um, it's well worth a look. I've spent a few quid on the kit, the best looking one I could find on the internet. Um, and we're going to go to my mate's garage, Brian. He's going to um, help us fit it. He's got a few more tools than I have, and um, then we'll do an experiment. I've filled it up with diesel to the neck so I can see where the diesel is. Um, I've set the trip so all the um, all the miles we do on normal diesel will allow me to um, get an accurate you know miles per gallon figure what it's actually doing in real 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 life and then we'll have another go with it on the um, on the hydrogen kit see if it makes any difference and we'll do another emissions test and see if that makes any difference as well. Helicopters, birds, can't win today, can I? Right, the helicopter's gone now. I can even self think. Okay, there was I. Um, yeah, so we're going to disappear off to my mates. Um, <coughs> fit the kit, and we'll see what miles we've got, what average miles uh, we're doing in the real world, and then we'll do another one with the um, hydrogen kit on and see what happens. So uh, let's get off, get the kit fitted. Right, I'm at my friend's garage. My friend is Brian. Here's Brian. Hello. Between us, we're going to fit this pair of these. In the car, this is the Corsa with the bonnet up finally. Um, come under the bonnet. Now, somewhere we have got to fit two of these and the flashback arrestor, the bottle. And what we've worked out is we're going to put the bottle there. Agree with that? Yeah, it sounds fine, place for it. We're going to stick the bottle there and these cells are going to go behind the front bumper so they're lower than the uh, bottle and we're going to probably end up putting them back to back like that so that it behind the bumper where the number plate is so that it doesn't interfere interfere hmm, interfere interfere, <laughs> interfere with the airflow across the radiator so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the lights off the front bumper off which you don't need to see because you're probably not feeling it on that a Vauxhall Corsa anyway um, and then we'll come back and we'll um, We'll demonstrate where we're going to uh, make the brackets to hold these um, wonderful looking things in place. Right, see you in a minute. Right. Okay, the front of the car stripped, two headlights, bumper iron, and uh, bumper skin on the floor. If you drag that headlight behind you, Brian. Now, there's a, there's a vent in the front of this bumper, which we don't want to block because of the airflow to the radiator. Uh, airflow uh, air vent there as well so what we want to do is mount these as we said behind there so we can do away with the bumper skin now because we've got bumper iron to work with thanks Brian now what we're going to do now is you grab that corner Brian stick that in there and what this bumper iron provides us with is a decent solid mount to make some brackets. So I'm going to fit in the top to 
make some brackets that will we can actually bolt to the bumper iron so that both the cells can go there behind the um, behind the iron and there's still plenty of room behind the um, the units for airflow and we're not blocking off any airflow from underneath or well I mean it's minimal minimal there but it's not going to affect it no so um, right so we better chop up some uh, metal now and um, get the cells bolted on and get it fitted on okay mate Back in a second when we worked out what we're going to do. Right, we've got the bumper on the bench and uh, my mate Brian here who's a bit more methodical than me has decided to clamp the bumper to the bench which is a good idea because if I drop one of these that's $200 down the drain. And you won't be happy, believe me. You won't be happy, believe me, yeah. Right, so we've got a couple of pen marks on there where we can um, clamp the units and we're going to use this. Would you say that's two, it's, three mil? It's three mil by 25 mil. Just flat plate, so we can bend it to make some nice straps to bolt to the bumper, round the outside, back to the top, simple as you like. Probably have to put something spongy around them to stop them uh, vibrating on the plastic, but that's as, that's as complicated as this part needs to be. So we'll bend up some brackets and we'll come back when... Uh